cute, but before they come out, sometimes they leave a little mark, and it's a stretch mark. So we want to talk about that today. Dr. Marjorie Dixon is here. So many people have stretch marks. It's a part of life. It's a part of life. You know, but I've often wondered um, why you get them. Why do some people get them and some people do not get them? Okay, so first, what are they? What are they? They're stretch marks. So our skin, our, our epidermis, and the layer underneath called the dermis, mm -hmm. there are times in our lives where they get stretched or tensed for yes. our period. So especially when there's rapid change. One of the common ones, puberty, when we grow, so we stretch, uh -huh. we develop breasts, we get hips. That's one of the times that we can get them. Yeah. And they're common places that we get them, so our abdomen, our buttocks, our thighs, mm -hmm. and our breasts. And then later on in life, when we do the rapid growth, we were just talking about it. So when you gain 70 Pregnancy. pounds in nine months, yeah. and then lose 70 pounds over the next year, that's a big stretch and go back. And often it's quite rapid, generally about month six or eight. Yes. Is six to eight, that's when people start to get it, particularly around the lower abdomen, buttocks, and breasts as they grow. Okay. So when the skin can't hold anymore, they're kind of rents in the skin, and there's a, a, a rift where you see them as lines. So they're called striae, which is again Latin, I love Latin. Mm. Striae, when it's a pregnancy, it's striae gravidarum of pregnancy. Yeah. And you know, we're women and we're vain. And much as you know, we accept the hormonal changes that cause all kinds of things to happen. So it's not just the skin, but the teeth, the nails, or your hair, everything changes. We like to be able to take control and empower ourselves through this. So what can we do to manage these things that we get? Right. And not everybody gets them. You're predisposed to get them. What do you think the number one reason why people get? Stretched? I'd say genetics. Is it? Oh, yeah, so yeah. if, you're, you're if your mother genetic. or your father yeah, has strip them, your mom, maternal, take a look. Maternal? Yeah. It's your mom. Yeah. Is it your mom? It, well, your mom or your sisters. Yeah, okay. Because so. right. my mom has a uh, stretch mark. Sorry, mom. I feel right. Um, so you're talking about your own stretch mark. But uh, I didn't get them. I didn't get them during yeah. pregnancy. And trust me, I stretched out a lot. Right. Yeah, me too. I was I like, you, big. 70 pounds. 70 pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, what I did was I found that where places of my skin was tight, particularly in my lower abdomen, and I was yeah. worried that I would get them. That I didn't really have stretch marks early on from puberty, though I grew really quickly. Like I, I went from being 5'4 to 5'8 in the period of two years. Wow. And I felt growing pains and all that. So I didn't stretch then, but in pregnancy, there was a little bit of stretch. So yeah. I was always looking for something that I could do. And being a doctor, then you go to the medical literature and you're like, okay, I want to find something that I know uh, will show proof that has shown evidence of it. And yes. for a while, there was no good concrete evidence showing that anything could really change the stretch marks are going to come with your genetics. If you are non-white, you're more likely to get them. Really? More I did likely not to know get that. Them, yeah. mm -hmm. So non-white, anything outside of uh, Caucasian, exactly. you're more likely to get you're the stretch marks. You're more likely to get the stretch marks. So genetics and genetics, uh, ethnicity, race. Hormones. Hormones. And um, also how much weight you gain, how quickly. And how much weight you gain, so for sure. So that's why it's important. We were talking about nutrition and exercise mm. and pregnancy. It's so hard to tell people because I was pregnant and I wanted to eat everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too. I was hungry. Me too. So, but you have to be careful and mindful of that because the more you control those things, the yes. less of the stretch that you have. Yeah. Okay, is there anything you can be doing? Okay, so try not to gain weight too rapidly. Uh -huh. um, is there anything you can do to make your skin more elastic? Yeah, yeah. so there are, a, there are a lot of products that are available. There are lotions now that there is good evidence. So they have things like plant extracts, like Sentinella Asiatica, mm -hmm. big word. It's mm -hmm. actually in some of the products that are here today. But okay. um, there, vitamin E is another one where before we weren't sure if it made a difference. It does. It makes a difference. Cocoa butter is an emollient, so it can smooth and improve the appearance of the skin. We put some on before oh God, we're looking kind so of, good. I know we, it's like you want to smell your hands I all the time. I want it. to smell my belly because I actually use this for three pregnancies. Yeah. And I don't know if it really made a difference because my mom, as I said, didn't have the stretch marks. Yeah. But I didn't get one stretch mark and boy, did my skin look beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> right? Well, look at even your hands right now. They <laughs> right? look gorgeous. They're glowing. So, so, um, so, so you, you, you actually stuff. used Palmer's Yeah. Uh, it wasn't as pregnancy. fancy back because it was like 10, 15 years ago. So it yeah. didn't actually happen. Much as the evidence has come up over time and interestingly, Palmer's has added it in. Right. So Sentinella Asiatica vitamin E, mm -hmm. cocoa butter, those are things that are good emollients for the skin and they can improve the appearance of it. But so you put it on before you get them? You can put it on during the active phase of them. That's the best time that you want when they're violaceous, which is purple, okay. or, or rubre, red. Yeah. It's the best time to add on like a lotion or something 
during that time. And during mm -hmm. pregnancy, you can't use the other fancy things like lasers no. and microdermabrasion yeah. that can help, but they're not, you should not use them in pregnancy. So it's right. also nice to have something that you can use safely in pregnancy and with breastfeeding um, that can, it won't make them go away, but it will diminish the appearance and improve, yeah. um, it, minimize the exacerbation if you are prone to getting them. Okay, or you could just get a tan. Yeah, true. Yeah. I mean, we're supposed to be safe in the sun. <laughs> but I won't but be tanning my breasts, you know what I'm you, saying? That's right. Yeah. Yes, you do. I guess you, you get could. the red hair. You, can. you could. You could. You, you could. could. I mean, the darker you are, the more the lines tend to disappear. But yeah, I'm but not they supposed do. to be advocating tanning, so forget it. <laughs> they fade Never over time, too. So much yeah. as we talked about the purple or the pink or the red appearance, yeah. over time, the next one to two years, they do fade. So, And it's at those times that you can use the other things, like the light lasers right. and the microdermabrasion, in addition to the emollients and the skin and the, the different extra from plants that can improve the appearance of the stretch marks. So, right. And then don't gain a bunch of weight, eat well. Right. Or just enjoy your tiger stripes. That's what I call them. I don't have them on my belly. I have them on my thighs. <laughs> tiger stripes. My thighs grew too fast. Like, what? I know, that right? doesn't make any sense. I know. We should have been programmed better. I think they're kind of cute.